Hello everyone and welcome to another Train Sim Classic video. Today we are going to be back on the Cajon Pass and doing a scenario called Climbing Sullivan's Curve. Basically we are driving, it says triple headed SD75Ms, but I ended up switching out one of the SD75s for UP SD70 ACE 1996 the Southern Pacific Heritage Unit and basically we are driving them through the pass hauling a mixed freight to Barstow you will be going via Sullivan's Curve a popular spot for rail fanning let us hop in the scenario and let's check it out good evening driver you are making the ascent up the Cajon Pass and triple headed SD 75 M's to Barstow where your mixed freight will be delivered and sorted one of the first curves on the ascent is called Sullivan's and it is a renowned viewing point for rail fans. Taking a look at our beautiful Southern Pacific Heritage Unit, UP 1996 based off of the Daylight or the SP Daylight uh, paint scheme. One thing I gotta say though, I do like it. I do like it a lot. I'm actually very surprised that we have actually not done a lot of heritage units on this channel we've done a few amtrak we've done some metra uh, we recently did a norfolk southern one which i think was our first one and then we have done one union pacific one which is the katie one and then now we are doing or showcasing this one so it's actually i'm kind of uh, surprised that we have not done more heritage units but then again the sound sets are awful which i'm still looking for different sound sets but let's go ahead and hop in the cab and let's highball UP 1996 approach medium D32.4 at least I think that's an approach medium it's an advanced approach on the CN I don't really know what it is for the Southern Pacific it looks like we got a rail fan out here but we have a crossing I know that I said I wasn't going to uh, post anything until January 1st but I did kinda wanna get a short but sweet video out there basically saying i hope you guys had a good christmas hope you guys had a good you know last year of 2022 it is actually the last week of 2022 so i do want to make sure or i do want to say hopefully you guys had a good year had a good week had a good christmas had a good holidays um hopefully everybody out there survived the basically nationwide blizzard cold front that happened across the u.s uh luckily we didn't end up losing power it flickered literally once during all of the harsh, brutal winds and negative, like, 50-degree wind chills we got and stuff. And, man, it was it was brutal. I, I will say it was brutal. Thankfully, work had us off those days, so we weren't really working unless we were actually on call. But that is the only thing. Looks like we got some light power over here. No headlight on. Gotta love it. Also, one thing I didn't show you guys is that we have 8268 and 8267 consecutively numbered uh, ST75Ms, which is cool. And then we have a very odd oddball consist today. We have kind of a TOFC intermodal and then empty and loaded center beam cars. Not really too sure what the consist is for, but I mean, if it's got to get moved, it's got to get moved. But going, going back to the blizzard, man, it was a... I don't want to say that we got a lot of snow. I think we literally probably got like two inches at most. But man, the winds, you could, I could hear them from my window. They were just brutal. Especially with all the blowing snow that was happening at night and everything. It was just brutal. So hopefully you guys ended up surviving that. And then, of course, you know, the holidays and everything. Um, hopefully you guys are going to have a good New Year's. Like I said, uploads will resume on January 1st. Um, I do have some videos already basically ready to go for uh, the first couple days of the new year. So definitely stay tuned for all of that. I've got some exciting changes coming to the channel as well, which I'm hoping you guys will enjoy. But yeah, man, Christmas. I had a good Christmas. I got to spend some time with my 
actually both my families, my new in-laws and then, or not technically in-laws yet, but the uh, future in-laws. And then of course I spent time with my, uh, my mom and yeah, it was actually pretty fun. Um, Christmas Eve, I spent time here with my mom and then a Christmas day had a pretty, very eventful day. Um, ended up starting, starting the day, went to church and then we went to go visit, uh, her grandma in the hospital and then we had a basically just a Christmas dinner, open presents and everything. And man, I am very excited. Uh, they actually got me, her parents got me a gaming chair. And man, oh man, have I been needing a new chair for the longest time. The one that I had, had literally like no support on it or nothing. It was just like a flimsy, uh, small office chair. Like, it had no back support, no neck support, nothing. And I'm going to tell you, my back has probably been messed up because of that chair. So, they came in clutch with this gaming chair. Thank you guys so much. I do greatly appreciate it. I'm very thankful to uh, be a part of your family now as well. So, uh, big shout outs to you guys. You guys are awesome. Looks like we're coming up on a 45 here. But I also got a few gift cards. I got one to Starbucks, which I really don't go to Starbucks on my own as often. I usually just go with Lauren. I'm more of a Duncan guy myself, but okay, the gift card works. Thank you. Got a, a gift card to Panda Express. Got some uh, candy, uh, a blanket, uh, very some good stuff, you know. Been needing a new blanket, so that works out in my favor since I've got a diversion approach here. We do have a train on uh, main two here. We're going to go ahead and uh, slow down for here. Or slow down for the switching of the tracks. Yeah, it looks like the, we're going to be... looks like that's the tail end of one. So we're probably going to be overtaking it. I feel like we have more of the higher uh, priority. But going along with the... Basically, December, uh, I think I mentioned it in the Discord, if you guys are in the Discord server, but last Monday, I woke up with the stomach flu, so that is part of the reason of where I have been, I've just been feeling under the weather, finally getting better and stuff, I'm gonna tell you though, I would not wish the stomach flu on my worst enemy, That that is just brutal. Literally a 3 a.m. wake-up call to the bathroom, and man, it, it was brutal. It was definitely brutal. We uh, had one of her mom's side's uh, Christmas party that weekend, and supposedly everybody, just about everyone that went to that party ended up getting the stomach flu. I had it. Lauren had it. Her mom had it. Majority of her, the people that went had it. It it was brutal, very brutal. And the the major kicker to that week was my time card for work only showed four and a half hours because I had Monday Tuesday I had to call in for because I just I, I was feeling well was feeling better on Wednesday so I went in. Turns out there was really nothing to do so I worked for like four and a half hours and then got sent home and then Thursday Friday we had those uh, blizzard conditions which Thursday we could have worked in the morning you know it would have been fine but we had those blizzard conditions and then we were off those days and then of course we were off the weekend which we're off weekends now and then we're off today because today is basically the Christmas for my employer so if the holiday falls on a Sunday uh, we get that next day off, so technically New Year's, which is next Sunday, is another day, paid day off. So I'll be having next Monday off, so that'll be four or two four-day weeks in a row, coming off of a half-a-day week. You gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. Quite a few people have gathered. The Eager Rail fans have their cameras ready. Well, with us having a heritage unit and two war bonnets, I think we're gonna have a good show.
You guys can see the rail fans back there. We have a UP train over there. I said quite a few people have gathered, but that wasn't really that many. That was like maybe like four. But yeah, with the war, with the uh, Southern Pacific Heritage Unit on, uh, on the head end, and then we have two war bonnets, which this day and age are rare in itself. Definitely made for a good uh, lash up for sure. But yeah, man, so it's going to be a funky next couple weeks, especially this week probably. So I don't really know. I did end up signing up for my works unemployment, which is a thing that I have to figure out how to do. But there are bound to be several other groups up the way on the pass. Keep an eye out for them on the way to the summit where the scenario will end. So about seven miles the scenario will end. Not too fancy. So with the unemployment thing, it's basically you draw unemployment from the state, but you're still technically employed with the company you're just not working but then I've heard like different variations to where you're off the entire winter up until the season starts again then I've heard you can only work up to 20 hours then you, or you basically show up for like 20 hours a week and I just don't really know how it works so I'm hoping that they'll end up putting me on it since I volunteered for it but uh, we've had two people so far off of my crew go on the unemployment so I, I guess we'll just have to find out what whenever happens but thankfully work did slow down a lot so we've actually been down to eight hours for the last couple weeks now probably since beginning of November but basically we have that we don't work weekends anymore um, so it's actually kinda nice I actually have a little bit more free time now up until of course you know the next dig season which starts I think they said it starts either March or May it was one of those but I have a feeling it's like May so yeah I do have that coming up uh, so hopefully I'll have some more time this winter to focus on content creation and making my content better I know audio is the next step uh, actually the next step I want to get is a new desk and I've recently been looking at stand-up desks because it's got that like you can sit down at it but then if like I don't want to sit down and edit a video like I want to stand I feel like it'd be a lot better for like posture and stuff for myself but you know granted to each his own with the standing desk but I just feel like a standing desk would be very beneficial uh, to me and then of course I'm also looking into getting a laptop because I do spend a lot of time at Lauren's on the weekend so I'm usually like here during the week up until we get at a place and then I'm at her house on the weekends so I was just kinda looking into getting a not a gaming laptop but just like a standard laptop that I can use for like video editing and everything so when I'm over there usually whenever Nighttime hits where you're just playing PlayStation or we're just, you know, hanging out doing nothing. So I figured, you know, if she goes to sleep early, you know, stay up a little bit on the laptop, edit some videos, make some thumbnails, you know, the usual, you know, content creation stuff. But yeah, man, I am loving this chair. It is so much more comfortable. I honestly don't even know what the brand is um, because the box doesn't really have a brand. And then on the chair, it doesn't even have a brand. It's just basically a black and white chair that has like uh, lines, kind of like triangles going up the chair on the, uh, on the back. So I really don't know what brand it is. The instructions were confusing to, you know, all hell. So I managed to put it all together without even looking at the instructions. And I got to tell you, man, it's got one of those, like, supports for your back. And then it also has, like, a neck pillow on it. And, man, I've been wanting one with the neck pillow and the support. So this was right up my alley. I am loving this chair. <laughs> it is definitely a major upgrade from my last one. Definitely. But, yeah, for some reason, I vaguely remember doing a doing this scenario a while back and I know whenever the new train sims come out 
the check mark goes away of the scenarios that you've done which in my opinion is actually kind of stupid but now since it's train sim classic I honestly don't feel like that's gonna happen at least until a new game comes out which is gonna be train something who who knows I feel like though Dovetail has kind of shifted their focus from this to TSW3 which I know there's still some third-party developers making get er, content DLC for this I know Dovetail still is too we recently just had the Amtrak E60 come out uh, which we're gonna be taking a look at in the net in the new year and then we have the Amtrak Acela has been announced for TSW3 I don't actually I don't know if it's been announced but they did post a teaser photo it was like a dark photo basically telling you to guess what it is people guessed in the train sim groups that I'm in on Facebook and it basically runs out to be the Acela Express coming to TSW3 so we have the ACS 64 already we have the Amfleets we are getting the Acela wondering if we're going to be getting the HHP 8 locomotive just so we have some more retro stuff to run in the sim and then that also brings up the question a lot of people are actually wondering is there going to be a no new northeast corridor route coming out as well as is there going to be the metro liner cab car and the amtrak switcher releasing re-release those are just some of the questions that I have been having. I don't know if other people have them. I'm assuming other people have. But those are just the majority of the questions that I've been having. Just because I want to drive the Metroliner cab car so bad. But I really don't want to go back into like TSW 2020. Just to play it. I want to play it in the new sim. Get all the new trophies and you know all of that stuff. But at the same time, I feel like I'm going to just have to go back into the old sim and do it that way. And make, because uh, I do want to do some more content on it. But I also, you know, don't want to post old games, especially if I'm posting TS20, TSW 2020. If TSW 3 is out, if you guys know what I mean. So it is a question on a lot of people's minds. Granted, we do have the Boston Sprinter for TSW3 so I'm w wondering if they're going to be adding the Northeast Corridor back in like they originally had in the original TSW no TSW 2020 whatever the whatever that one was they've kind of made the it's been weird it's been TSW CSX Heavy Hall then it went to TSW then it went to TSW 2020, then 2, then 3. It's just kind of been a a roller coaster. It's been it's just been weird. Well, they said there was going to be more rail fans, but I have not seen anybody unless I'm just not paying attention. Coming up on the 30 here, so we're going to start slowing the train down, moving the throttle decreasing the throttle here going through the tunnels ah yes the one glitch tunnel where it's blocked but you can still enter it another thing that I've been kind of wondering about is because I've seen plenty of YouTube videos to where like Amtrak or freight trains going in the tunnel especially on that uh, extreme train show if you guys remember that with Matt Bown I believe his name was or Matt Down or something like that but are the engineers required to sound the horn before and exiting a tunnel because I've seen it on an Amtrak video, it was like a cab ride, where every time they went into a tunnel, the engineer sounded the horn, and any time they exited the tunnel, the engineer sounded the horn. And then on that 
the that uh, TV series, it was the same thing. Granted, you know, those sounds could have been added in because grant the uh, basically you're not following that same train, you're following a different train, but you're on a different train. If you know what I mean, it's confusing. They're basically recording the same train on a different day, like for B-roll and stuff. And then when they're in the cab, it's a completely different train. Just because they're not having the camera crew following them. I mean, they pro they might. I don't know. But I highly doubt it. So, yeah. If you guys know, if you guys are a locomotive engineer, do let me know if you guys do have to sound the horns when you enter and exit the tunnels. I feel like you do. Just in case, you know, there's people walking in the tunnel or walking, like, outside the tunnel. And they don't hear you or see you for some unknown reason. But yeah, do let me know in the comment section down below. So we're about two and a half miles away from our destination here. Like I said, I just kind of wanted this to be a sh little short but sweet video. Just to kind of see how you guys were doing throughout the holidays. And if you guys basically made it through the blizzard. Uh, the normal daily uploads will resume on January 1st. Now I don't know how I want to do it. If I want to do Monday through Friday or if I want to do the seven days a week. Lauren's thinking I should do Monday through Friday and that's kind of where I'm leaning towards as well. Unless I you know I have something that I really really want to show off we'll do something on Saturday. But I am really leaning on the more Monday to Friday uh, videos or uploads and then getting back into streaming possibly on the weekends which I know right now that's a long shot and I know I keep saying it but I really do want to get back into streaming it's just I don't know if my Wi-Fi can handle it I've been doing some test streams basically uh, private streams that I've been working on YouTube and I've just been testing it they seem to be working but the internet I currently have which if you guys know Mediacom uh, the internet likes to cut out at random times so like throughout the day it'll just randomly cut same thing with the night and I don't want to you know end up going through an entire stream saying I'm going to stream and then halfway through the internet cuts out and then it turns back on then I have to restart my stream so it looks like we got a 40 mile an hour zone up here I'm at 75% on a throttle I think it's notch 6 and uh, yeah, now we're going. Now we're going places. There's some crew right there. Yep, there were some rail fans right there. The horn on this locomotive is damaged. Not gonna lie, the horn is absolutely damaged. Let's go put her back in the notch one there. No, oh, we're speeding, so let's put her in a. Oh, probably don't want to do that. Well, we are going down a 2.2% grade. Although, I think we're going up a 2.2% grade, not down. I wish I can get my uh, rail driver controller hooked up. I just don't actually have the space on this desk to keep putting it up and, that, up and off. For the steering wheel, I have plenty of space. But I just don't have any space next to me to actually put the rail driver. Whereas the steering wheel I can just set off to the side. Looks like we're meeting our track back here that we split off from before. And we got a mile, about a mile point ten left to go. UP 1996 maximum speed is 70 miles an hour we do have a max or er, a track speed of 40 but I believe we're stopping in a mile so it's not like there's really any point getting up to 40 and then slowing back down So yeah guys as we are entering our descent here let me know what you guys think of the video if you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys got for presents for Christmas and all that good stuff let me know what you're looking forward to in the new year if you guys have any new year's resolutions or anything like that 
If you guys have any, you know, content suggestions, channel suggestions, any type of suggestions, comments, questions, concerns, do let me know in the comment section down below. Or you can even DM me on Discord if you feel like you don't want to, you know, put your comment out there. Definitely DM me on Discord. I'm coming to a stop here. So we got a diverging approach or a diverging clear. So we're not coming to a stop at the signal. We're actually coming to a stop past the signal. Which makes absolutely no sense. But, you know, it's each his own. So we're basically going to have to wait for that train. Or that train's going to have to wait for us. I don't know if they were actual rail fans or if their uh, cars broke down. We'll go ahead and shut the headlights off for this guy. A lot of SD75 eyes today. This one's actually leading a train, it looks like. Oh, did not mean to do that. Well done, you've made it to Summit. Remainder of the journey to Barstow should be plain sailing. Hope the observers on the pass enjoy their evening of rail fanning. I like how the scenario just goes into an emergency. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys here on the next episode. Peace.